Hi, little troopers! Today it's Wednesday and we're going to be playing with some fruits. So I'll show you what I have inside here. Let's see. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> but I have some more here. Eight, nine, 10, 11. So I got 11 fruits here. But look, first we're going to mix them up. We mix everything up. So first we're going to sort them by colors, okay? This means that we're going to put all the fruits that are in the same color together. I got some red cherry tomatoes, some yellow lemons, and some, some orange grapefruits. So for the second thing we're going to do, we're going to put them from the smallest one to the biggest one. Which one is the smallest fruit? Is it the lemon? No, right? The cherry tomatoes. So the cherry tomatoes are the smallest. We're going to put it on one side. And then, which one is the second one? Is it the lemon or is it the grapefruit? Yes, the lemon. And now the grapefruit. So we put the fruits from the smallest one to the biggest one, okay? And now we're going to play a game. As you're going to see, I'm going to use only three types of fruits but you can use the fruits that you have at home. For example, if you don't have a grapefruit, you can use an orange instead. Or if you don't have tomatoes, you can use bananas. The important thing is that you copy the same order of the things that are in front of you. So you're going to see here, up here, something that is called pattern. Do you know what a pattern is? Pattern is something that follows the same thing over and over again. For example, if I grab one cherry tomato, I put a lemon next to it, and then I put a grapefruit, and then I'm going to start again. So if it's tomato, lemon, grapefruit, what is coming next? Yes, the cherry tomato. We put the cherry tomato again, the lemon, and the grapefruit. Can you see how it repeats the same order of things? So I'm going to put up here different patterns and we're going to copy it. Are you ready? Okay, now we do it we do it again. <gasps> so, what are we going to put next? You're right, another cherry tomato, the grapefruit, and another cherry tomato. How you can you see how it repeats the pattern? We do it one more time. Can you see it? Lemon, grapefruit, grapefruit, lemon, grapefruit, grapefruit. And like this, you can play for as long as you want. So maybe you can put a pattern with the fruits and mommy, daddy, or your brothers and sisters or your auntie can play with you. So you start with the first, pa the first pattern and they, they copy it and after that they start the pattern and you copy the pattern. Now let's see if you can guess which fruit is missing in this pattern. You're right, the bananas. Now which fruit is missing there in the last space? Yes, you're right, the orange. Last one, which one is missing in this pattern? 
Yes, the cucumber. Now I'm going to share with you a really nice story about some apples and some animals. It's by Dr. Seuss. I'm going to read it, but I, I ask you that as I'm reading and counting the fruits, you count them with me. Can you do that? Let's see. 10 apples up on top by Dr. Seuss. One apple up on top. Two apples up on top. Look, you, I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. Three, three, hmm, I see, I see. You can do three, but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. One, two, three, four. Look, see now, I can hop with four apples up on top. One, two, three, four. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. Look here, you too. See here, I can get five on top, can you? I'm so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top. I'm so good, they will not drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven too. And now, see here, eight. Eight on top. Eight apples up. Not one will drop. Oh, look, they got eight apples. Eight, eight, and we can skate. Look now, we can skate with eight. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. <laughs> they look worried. We all are very good, I think. With nine, we all can hop and drink. <gasps> look, they are doing it. We can, we can, we can do it too. We are as good as you. Nine is very good, but then, hmm, come on, and we will make it ten. <gasps> look, ten apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. Look out, look out, I see a mob. Oh, <gasps> the angry bear. I will make the apples fall. Get out, get out you, one and all. Come on, come on, come down this hole. We must not let our apples fall. Out of our way, we cannot stop. We cannot let our apples drop. This is not good, what we will do? They want to get our apples too, look the seagulls. They will get them if we let them. Come, we cannot let them get them. Look out, look out, the mob, the mob. Oh, look, the angry bear. You cannot stop our apple fun. Our apples will not drop, not one. Come on, come on, come, come all. We have to make the apples fall. They must not get up, they must not get our apples down. Come on, come on, get out of town. Apples, apples up on top. All of this must stop, stop. Now, all our fun is going to stop. Our apples all are going to drop. <gasps> Look, 10 apples on us all. What fun! We'll not let them fall. Let's count how many apples do they have on top of their heads. Are you ready? Let's see what you think the lion. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what about the bear? Remember the bear was very angry, but now look, he's holding the apples on his head as well. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The bear also got ten apples on his head. Finally, they decided that it was very fun to play all together. So look, they are very happy trying to make the apples not to fall.